Hi, once again welcome back to Pharma Gyan and today in this video we will learn about equipment qualification test with acceptance criteria and reference guidelines for steam sterilizer or autoclave in pharmaceutical industries. So what are the list of tests which are need to be carried out during performance qualification of an steam sterilizer. So these are the listed tests and their acceptance criteria with reference guidelines. So the first one is pure steam quality test. In pure steam quality test, there are four sub parts that is superheat test, dryness test, non-condensable gases test and condensate test. And the acceptance criteria of superheat test is not more than 25 degree centigrade. Dryness test uh, not less than 0.95 the dryness fraction should be not less than 0.95 and non-condensable gases should be not more than 3.5 percent and the con condensate test should comply as per the WFI specification and the reference guideline is PDATR01 revised in 2007 and another one is EN285 The another test is pre-calibration of thermocouples. So uh, before starting performance qualification or temperature mapping studies in steam sterilizer we need to uh, calibrate the thermocouples which are being used to map the temperature of that particular steam sterilizer. So uh, to carry out the pre-calibration of thermocouples just we need to do calibration in different set points that is low set point is 90 degree centigrade hot high set point for temperature is 130 degree centigrade and check set point is 121.1 degree centigrade and the sensor stability for these pre-study pre-calibration of thermocouples is 0.2 degree centigrade for 3 minutes and IRTD stability is 0.012 degree for 2 minutes deviation criteria for uncalibrated sensor is 1 degree centigrade and deviation criteria for calibrated sensor is 0.5 degree centigrade so there is no any specific uh, uh, set points given in these guidelines these are taken from various sources um, general criteria general guidance is given in en285 2015 and stm 2016 that the thermocouples which are being used for uh, temperature mapping study of steam sterilizer should be calibrated so generally in recent practices these uh, parameters are being used for pre-calibration and post verification of thermocouples and the another one uh, test is vacuum leak test without probe and with probe so the acceptance criteria for vacuum leak test is not more than 0 0.013 bar for vacuum hold for 10, 10 minutes or 0 0.13 kPa per minute or 1.3 mbar per minute. This is given in EN285-2015. And the bovidic test criteria which is to be used for air removal to verify that the air is removed from chamber or not. So the acceptance criteria for bovidic test to black or blue to black for bovidic test with 121 degree centigrade for 17 minutes. Uh, the color change is uh, not specified in any guidelines which is uh, depends on the supplier or vendor and the reference guideline for this test is EN285-2015. And the another test is empty chamber heat distribution study. In empty chamber heat distribution study there are a number of uh, parameters or there are a number of acceptance criteria that need to be monitored. The first one is sterilization temperature throughout the hold into the permanent probes and external probes. So the acceptance criteria is uh, the temperature should be within within a range of 121 to 124 degree centigrade that is a plus 3 degree vent from 121 degree centigrade which is given in EN285-2015. Pressure, external pressure transducer and permanent pressure transducer. The pressure should remain in the range of 0, uh, 1.013 bar to 1.290 bar. Uh, the pressure criteria is not specified in any guidelines that because uh, the pressure is need to be developed during developmental studies 
and during development the recipe developed which is to be finalized that the pressure should be within the range that is during development studies the reference guideline is en285-2015 and the sterilization hold in permanent probe and external probe should be not less than the sterilization hold time that is decided by uh, during cycle development which is also given in en285 or generally in en285 the sterilization hold time is given as not more than, not less than 15 minutes temperature difference within probe should be not more than 2 degrees centigrade temperature difference among the probe should be also be not more than 2 degrees centigrade and the f0 value in into permanent probes and external probes should be not less than the sterilization hold time that is as per en285 which is should be not less than 15 minutes loaded chamber heat distribution and heat penetration studies acceptance criteria so sterilization temperature throughout the hold into permanent probes and external probes should be 121 to 124 degree centigrade that is 121 degree centigrade plus 3 degree band which is given in en285 2015 and the pressure external pressure transducer and permanent pressure transducer the pressure should be remain in a range of 1.013 bar to 1.290 the pressure is depends on developmental studies sterilization hold into permanent probes and external probes should be not less than the sterilization hold time which is decided during developmental studies equilibrium times in external probes the equilibrium time should be not more than 15 seconds for the chamber size of less than 800 liter and not more than 30 seconds for a chamber size of more than 800 liter this is given in en285-2015 loaded chamber temperature difference within probe not more than 2 degree centigrade among the probe temperature difference among the probe not more than 2 degree centigrade and the f0 value into permanent probes and external probes should be not less than the sterilization hold time Throughout the holding time, the temperature measured at the reference measurement point of the sterilizer chamber, any temperature measured within the test pack and the theoretical temperature of the saturated steam determined from the measured sterilizer chamber should be not more than 2 degree centigrade. Biological indicator test results, negative BI should show no growth, positive BI should show growth and, and test BI should also show no growth. And the load dryness, garment or textiles, moisture gain should be not uh, should be less than one percent, and other loads should so, uh, should be dried when checked visually. And the metal loads, mass of the metal loads should be not increased by 0.2 percent. This criteria also given in EN285. This video is prepared by taking reference of guidelines PDA TR1. 2007 validation of moisture digitalization process, cycle design, development qualification, and ongoing control. EN285-2015 sterilization, steam sterilizers, large sterilizers and HTM2016 sterilization part 3 validation and verification. So thanks for watching PharmaGyan. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel PharmaGyan.